Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, let us start with the next example of solving programming constructs using context-free grammars. Over here we are trying to write a grammar for while statement. We know that while represents a loop in which we execute a particular statement a number of times until the condition following the while is true. Over here I have written a sample program using while. While i is greater than 5 to x is equal to y plus 3. In this program the value of x would be incremented by 3 each time the particular loop is executed. Let us take some values. x is equal to let us say 10, y is equal to 1, y plus 1 would be 4. Each time the loop is executed, the value of x would be incremented by 4. Let us say once it is executed, The value of x would be 4. Now we need to write a grammar which represents this particular while construct. In this grammar we can see that statement is either a while statement or some other kind of statement. If it is a while statement, it will be preceded by a while followed by a condition followed by do keyword and a statement which has to be executed a number of times depending upon the execution of condition. The condition could be either an arithmetic condition such as greater than, less than, equal to, not equal to or it may be some boolean expression which evaluates to either true or false depending upon the arithmetic or the boolean expression the loop would be executed now let us try to parse the string that we have generated using this particular grammar Let us try to draw the yield of this parse tree and let us check whether the program could be passed using this parse tree or not. It is containing a while. Let us try to see the yield of this parse tree. It is a while which is going to a condition. This condition is an arithmetic boolean condition. Over here we are using arithmetic not boolean which is i greater than 5. This expression is returning to the start symbol. Then we have a do. Following the do, we have the statement which has to be executed. Going to non terminal stmt, which represents statement. And the statement over here is another statement, non Boolean and non while statement x is equal to y plus 3. In fact, this is an assignment statement followed by a semicolon. You will see that the yield of the parse tree is the program which was wrote earlier. That means the program is according to the grammatical syntax which was written earlier for while loop. Having done with while loop, now we'll write a programming construct for do while loop and for loop in the coming up video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe.